Hello, this is the story of Nalpaka by Nona Beamer, with illustrations by Karen Lobel Freed, music by Keola Beamer, and Hawaiian language translation by Calico Beamer Trap. Read to you by the author, Nona Beamer. There is a shiny green plant that grows near the beaches of Hawaii. It is called the Naupaka, with small, delicate white half flowers. It was named Naupaka for a Hawaiian princess who lived many, many years ago. Her people loved Naupaka. She was always smiling, and she had sweet words for all of the people of the village. One day, they noticed that Naupaka was very sad. Oh, wait, oh dear, why is Naupaka sad, they asked each other. Word reached the king and the queen, and they found Naupaka at the mountain pool. The face reflected in the water was a very sad face. Oh, dear daughter, why are you so sad? Now Pucka shook her head. I am deeply in love. In love with a handsome young man named Koei. Is he of noble birth? Her mother asked. No, my mother, he is not. The social order of that day did not allow members of the royal family to marry commoners. Her father said, we must consult the kupuna, the wise elders of the village. They will tell us what to do. Alas, the kupuna did not give their decision. The young couple must journey far. They must journey to the heo, the temple, and there the kahuna will tell them. Now Puck and Kawi journeyed for many days, and they finally reached the great heiau at the top of the mountain. They knelt at the lava wall and called out to the kahuna within, We have arrived here outside your temple. Please answer us and come to speak with us. The old kahuna arrived, listened to the young lovers, and shook his head sadly. The Hawaiian gods must decide. Suddenly the sky darkened, the wind rose, there was a torrent of rain, a loud clap of thunder, and flashes of lightning. The young lovers embraced sadly. The gods had given them the sign. They were not to marry. Now Paka tore the blossom from her hair, broke it in two, and placed half in Kawi's palm. We will separate, she said. I will remain here in the mountains and you journey back to the seashore. And my beloved, never again will we meet. The naupaka blossoms growing nearby heard the lover's sadness, and they drew their heads. To this very day, the naupaka blossoms bloom in perfect halves. The Hawaiians believe that someday now Paka and Kaui will be reunited in the Hawaiian pantheon. The mountain variety and the seashore variety will form a perfect Now Paka blossom. I hope you've enjoyed the story of Now Paka. Find the book at your local library or contact Bishop Museum Press in Honolulu, Hawaii.